I am back in Bournemouth. I'm going to root to the protein smoothie for the games. Ready? Yay! The next thing I also met is my desk. This is my first like, scheduled campus thing since March 2020. Exam story time. channel welcome back to the lockdown uni diaries even though it was like oh even in lockdown that's fine i'm not sure but you know the name the name's already stuck today is a monday it is the third of may it's a bank holiday but you know bank holidays don't count for students Ooh. i am back in bournemouth can you tell i got in kind of late last night and then just watched the line of juicy final disappointing and then this morning i've just unpacked my room it's still a little bit messy kind of i've kind of like just you know got a few bits everywhere i'm gonna get my day started now it's like half nine because i've literally just been unpacking all morning sorting out like my food like i had an hour to delivery of come last night everything was a big mess but i'm gonna do a workout this morning get my day started and then uni work i have a deadline tomorrow which is like a placement portfolio basically it's like evidence that i've done placement in for my degree it's like it's kind of easy like it's just like paperwork but you know when it's just like long so if i can get that finished today submitted this afternoon then that's one less thing to worry about See, this is my penultimate week as a student what so i think it's gonna be like two more lockdown uni days hopefully i can film some days this week and then next week it's not like a weekly vlog or anything literally just gonna film when i can but yeah i'll let you know what i'm doing it's workout time because summer's in two weeks. I'm getting ripped today. Oh, RIP the hey. You see the sweat? I'm very sweaty. Um, workout, oh, I need to stop my watch for one sec. Sorry. My workout is done. I did a lower body workout. It was 27 minutes. I burned 185 calories. I don't feel like I'm more sweaty than that, but whatever. I'm gonna get in the shower now and then get my day started. Hi, I've just made myself a little protein smoothie for the games. It's 11.11 now. Ooh, make a wish. Just been drinking my smoothie. I've planned out my week. Been a bit of a slow morning because obviously like I only got back last night. So I've just been like seeing everyone in the kitchen. I'm gonna catch up but I'm gonna get started now and fill in all these really boring forms. But hopefully I can just kind of like bash them out. I also do need to go to Asda because even though I got an Asda delivery yesterday, I like don't have any toothpaste. I don't have any, sorry, I'm sat out of breath. I just walked upstairs. I don't have any face wash. Also like my room is just smelling funky and like, I don't like open the windows because it's cold and um, my room like, isn't insulated. It doesn't have any heat in. So I think it just gets a bit like clogged up. So I want to get like a room diffuser or something, make it smell a bit fresher. I also got an egg sauce delivery and most of the stuff didn't fit me. And I'm like, wow, do you ever just like, that's a real big hit to like me as a person. Like I ordered these jeans. Like, I'm a size eight, but I always get jeans that are 10 because I hate when jeans are like really tight and like, if you can only like stand up in them and then if you sit down, like they don't fit. So I got them in a 10, which is already like one size above what I would order anything else in. And then I just like couldn't get them on and I finally got them on and they were the most uncomfy thing. I couldn't breathe at all. So obviously it's like so unjustified keeping them, but I really like once they were on, apart from like no like oxygen coming into my system, I really like the look of them. So I want to order them again, but it's just like, a size 12 like and i'm not saying like a size 12 is bad but you know what i mean like that it's like two sizes above like everything else i ordered like i literally have sh like sh denim shorts in what are very similar to the jeans and like they're an eight so it's like si sizing just blows my mind but like it shouldn't make me feel shit about myself because obviously it's it's the sizing problem and like it's the brand's problem but like oh i'm just i'm kind of letting it get to me but oh well so i'm gonna go to post office as well on my daily walk Hello. Oh, it's very dark. Lighting. That's better. It's now quarter to two and I finished. Thank God. Like, it wasn't even like hard work. It was just so long and like forms to fill in. Oh, I hate it. I also painted my nails. 
So how open is that productive? You decide, but I've got it. I've got it up. Can I, can I show you that? Is that confidential? It's just placement forms. It's basically evidence that I've done placement. Um, have them all here, I'm about to submit. You can join me. Are you ready? This is my penultimate thing I'll submit. The next thing I'll submit is my disc. Ah. Oh, now the light looks bad. You ready? Yay! Done. Successful. Woo woo woo. And it's just literally a pass or fail thing. Like, and I think the only way you can fail is if like you don't do it. So love that for me. Also, I got an ASOS parcel. Did I tell you that? So I was trying on a few things. Yeah, I think I did tell you that already. Um, haul coming, maybe. Yeah, there will be, but I don't know when. Oh my god. I always start filming after I've just walked up the stairs. It's three o'clock. I've just been doing some disc work. I'm having some lunch. I'm having kind of a late lunch because I have dance tonight. So I'm gonna eat dinner late. So I wanna like keep myself full for long. Cause if I have lunch at like one, I'll be hungry by five, but I've danced six or seven. So logic. It's just a wrap pizza though. I love wrap pizzas, they're so easy. So quick. I am feeling a little bit, little bit shaky. I am di self diagnosing myself with low blood sugar. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but basically when I don't eat for like a few hours, I get really shaky. So I better eat. It's four o'clock. I'm in bed. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little nap because I'm so tired. My hair submitted that thing and I've just been writing my desk and my brain just hurts. And I'm teaching a ballet class at six or seven. <laughs> I'm shattered. Normally I would force myself to stay awake and not nap because napping is bad and it does kind of ruin my sleep schedule. But I slept so bad last night and I know like if I nap then I'll sleep bad tonight but it's like I won't have it in me to like function. Like te I have to teach the ballet class and I just don't have the energy currently. So if I didn't have the ballet class, I'd force myself to part through. But I'm just gonna have like an hour, 45 minute hour nap. I've set an alarm obviously. Not just gonna let myself sleep. But yeah, I really didn't sleep last night so. And I always just sleep really bad, like when I come back to uni for like the first few nights. I think it's just like my body's like, where am I? So yeah, 4.05. I'm off. Hi, it's now five to six. So I'm about to join the Zoom, start the, start the Zoom for the ballet class I'm running tonight. It's just um, six or seven tonight because it's normally an hour and a half, but it do be deadline season and I do be very stressed so I'm currently in the we've got a showcase on the 12th the 6th of June sorry I'm leaning on my bed if you can hear that um and we have two dancers to perform we have learned one and a half of them and today I'm just going to go over everything because teaching over zoom is really hard I'm in like another class that I'm not teaching I'm learning from and I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm trying to be very sympathetic of the girls and go over everything and make sure they understand and I don't want to teach any new choreography until we feel like we've got this one you know and then this evening I'm actually going to order the ballet costumes for it kind of get organized in that sense and yeah after this I'm actually going really hungry now for dinner and I'm going to make like a tofu and veggie stir fry type thing just like loads of fried veggies some noodles I've got like some chow mein sauce super easy and yeah just gonna like have a catch up with my house this evening so probably won't film anything just gonna you know apparently there's a lot of gossip they need to fill me in on which i'm very excited for so yeah i'll probably pick you back up tomorrow and continue have i told you i have a mock exam tomorrow so i'm actually going into campus Ooh, good morning <laughs> it's 8 30 in the morning and i'm just about to do a workout and i'm not very awake yet but I have quite a busy day today, so I need to do my workout now. <laughs> workout done, it's just a shorter one today 13 minutes, 47 seconds, 114 calories, and lots of sweat. I really need to go shower now. Oh my god, I look crazy. I just pulled my hair down from the bed I had it in, in the shower. Just on nine o'clock now, it's like quarter past nine. I have a dissertation meeting 11 to 12, it's with like four other students. And it's like a final group session. And then I need to leave here at half 12 to walk to uni. My uni is like a 45 minute walk away. You can't park there during the day, which is really annoying, otherwise I'll just drive. And then I have a TV mock exam, which I'm not really sure 
what involves, hence the mock, I think. Hopefully they're gonna explain it, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be on camera or not. So I think I'm gonna get ready like a little bit, just because you don't wanna like be on camera and you look really gross and then you can't use, well, you can use it for your show reel, but you know, if you look really gross, you're probably not going to. This is like my first time going to campus. I've, I've been to the, like the library, but obviously I just like chose to do that. This is my first like scheduled campus thing since March 20, 20. Oh, that's so weird. So, you know, it's a big event. I should get all dressed up for it. Not that I've got dressed up, but put a bit of concealer on for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put some concealer on. I can't really see. It's so red, this isn't helping because I'm probably gonna like cover up all the red bits, but it's just red from like heat. I kind of hate concealer because it covers up all my freckles, but then I also have a really under eye, like dark under eye bag. So it's like, how do you not cover one without the other? And it's like, you could just not care about the under eye bags, but I do. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put some bronzer on and some mascara. And that is gonna be it for my makeup tutorial. That's kind of what my only plan today because I have to get there like half an hour before. And then I have a two hour mock and then I have to walk home, which takes like another 45 minutes. So even though I'm leaving at half 12, I won't get back till like half four. And then like, will I do any work after that? Good one. I'm gonna put some bronzer in my crease, clear mascara in my brows. Just curling my eyelashes. You can see what I'm doing. I don't need to explain. Okay, and we are done. That's the potentially most pointless makeup tutorial ever but i feel a bit better about myself i'm gonna go have some food now and then i'm gonna put some lip balm on but there's no point doing it before wish i had some dry shampoo because my hair's just been a bit sweaty but i couldn't bother to wash it and it's not hair wash day i'm trying to get my hair i've trained it to get it to like four slash five days it's more four because i'm four i'm like but i really want to get it to a week like wouldn't that just be so ideal like wash your hair once a week so i wash it on saturday morning so that's the whole day saturday saturday sunday monday and then today's tuesday so today's day four i don't like i don't feel like i need to wash it this evening so hopefully we can get to like tomorrow evening on this evening that would be five whole days that's good that's good i'll probably do a run tomorrow because i like to do a run but right before i wash my hair so it feels more worth it because i get so sweaty on runs you guess that I just walked up the stairs. <laughs> Why do I always do this? But I have a little iced coffee. I won't lie, it doesn't hit the same. Now I've got used to my dad's really nice coffee machine, but it is what it is. And then I've got some chocolate protein porridge with banana and blueberries. Gonna eat this. And I have an hour to prepare for my meeting. So I'm gonna do that. I just finished my dissertation meeting. It was questionably helpful i just don't really find these meetings very helpful i have one that was like a group one so like just like all of us asking questions but obviously like everyone else's questions don't really relate to me because everyone's doing different dissertations but oh well um i have 45 minutes until i need to leave to walk to campus it looks like a lovely sunny day so that should be lovely i need to like wash up my disgusting porridge bowl and just like tidy my room a little bit and then i have some lunch it's like really early lunch and we have lunch at, like two but was not gonna be like in exam mode, so I need to eat lunch like at half twelve. I've just got some like leftover stuff fry from last night. To be honest, it wasn't very nice, but oh well, <laughs> I've got nothing else. And then yeah, when I come back from my exam, I have a lot to think about in terms of my dissertation now, so I'm probably gonna get cracking on that. And then I'm seeing Ollie, my boyfriend tonight, which I'm very excited about. Cringe, cringe central. But I think, yeah, we're, he's gonna come around later, maybe for dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna cook tonight. I've got some tofu. I might make, try and make some like Chinese tofu and veg and rice. Honestly, all my meals are just like either veg and noodles or veg and rice. <laughs> I'm not very creative. Or maybe some pasta, I've got some pasta and like pesto and stuff. I'll see you when I feel like later. But yeah, I'm gonna just tidy up my room now because I don't wanna like start anything because it's not enough time to like get into anything that's like my problem i always like never start work if i don't have like unlimited time to really work with because i don't like starting things and finishing them anywho gonna stop talking you call yourself a free spirit a wild thing and you're terrified somebody's gonna stick you in a cage maybe you're already in that cage you've built it yourself hello 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 
today is quarter to five. I just got back from my exam. Exam story time. Basically, thank God it was only a mock. So I had looked at the email this morning and it said exam starts 1.30. You need to arrive 20 minutes before to go over like what the exam actually is because I've got no clue to be honest. It takes 40 minutes to walk to uni. So I was like, I'm leaving at half 12. I'm going to get there for 10 past one to start at half one. So I had my lunch really early as you saw. And then I was just having a little overthink moment. I was like, let me just check check the exam time. So I click on the email, 2 p.m. start, arrived 20 minutes before. So I think, okay, so I need to be at 20 to two. So I leave at one, because then it took me 40 minutes to walk there. So I leave at one, um, I get there like 1.35, because you know, I'm, I'm power walking. I walk into the exam, there's three of us taking it. The other two girls there, so I'm like, okay, early birds. And then my lecturer was like, um, yeah, we're really on a tight schedule. Like we need to start right away. And I was like, whoa, like, what are these, where are these instructions? And he was like, you're five minutes late. The exam started at 1.30. So I'm literally, I like strolled in. I was so casual. He was pretty like, what the fuck bitch, why aren't you running? So then he was like, yeah, well, no, we've run through the instructions. You've missed them. And like, fair enough, I was late. Like that's my own fault. But I was literally like, sorry. <laughs> like I was literally like, sorry, I thought it started too. So we just started and I was staring at the screen. Obviously I had the exam instructions, but like, I just had no, I was trying to read them and like make sense of them. And I was just like, if someone asked me like what I'm meant to be doing right now, I couldn't tell them. Like we were given a script, we were given like these videos. I didn't know what I was meant to be doing. It took me so long to figure it out. And then obviously I did figure it out and it was fine. And it was only a mock. So thank God, what a, what a learning lesson. But uh, in the moment I was literally like, oh, this is, what, like, why have I got this bad karma? What have I done? But anyway, um, and then I left the exam and have I mentioned my low blood sugar yet? I feel like I probably have in every single video. But yeah, so I left the exam shaking because I hadn't eaten for like three hours. Then I walked via Lidl and got myself a little cookie. I know like hot girls are, I'm gonna be a bit healthy, but like I was literally about to collapse. So we're gonna let it be. But it was seven kilometers there and back to uni via Lidl. So like, I really did get my steps in. I hit my 10K step. Anyway, I'm absolutely exhausted now and I'm absolutely not really doing work. It's five o'clock.